Hello and welcome to today's logic lesson. Okay, if you are watching this video, the last thing you learned with me at school was all about the letter F. Um, so we're going to go through, we'll do our cards, we'll do sound drill, we'll read some words, we'll practice spelling three words, and then we'll be done for the day. So let's see how you do. We'll start with our cards. For the first few, I'll ask you all the questions, and then we'll just uh, quickly go through the rest. So be ready. Make sure you're using your voice to answer our questions. First of all, check this out. This is our newest letter, and since I already told you it's a letter, why don't you tell me what's this letter's name? Good, this is F. What sound do you make when you see the letter F? That's right, it, F makes the sound f. Good, this is one of our windy sounds. So you should know that it's unvoiced. And let me ask you this, is f a consonant sound or a vowel sound? That's right, it's a consonant sound. And for right now, we will just see F at the beginning of our CVC words that we're reading and spelling. So we'll practice this newest letter F with the sound f a lot today. Our next one looks like this. What is this letter's name? Good, this is C. What sound do you make when you see the letter C? That's right, its sound is k. Now, um, is k a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Good, it's a consonant sound. And we know that C has some special things and some special rules that go with it. So let's talk about those. We need to remember that C has a soft sound and a hard sound. K is the hard sound for C. We also need to know that we choose C for the sound K if that K sound is coming before the vowels A, O, or U. So C, right here, always comes before A, A, or A uh in our C, B, C words. All right, let's keep it going. We can go th quickly through these last three. This is a letter. Its name is I. Can you make the sound that I makes for me? That's right, it's I, and I is one of our short vowel sounds. We see it in the middle of, our, of a lot of our words. This is a letter, its name is H. Can you practice the H sound for me? That's right, it's H. Good. And last one, this is a letter, its name is R. Go ahead, practice that R sound. What does R say? Good. Rrr. And that's a voiced consonant sound. Okay, we're going through nice and quick. Let's make sure we're ready for sound drill. Have your whiteboard, marker, and eraser ready. I'll make a sound, and you write the letter that makes that sound. Let's start with our newest one. Show me the letter that makes the sound <sighs> This is our newest unvoiced consonant sound. All right, let's see how you did. That's the letter F. Good job, let's erase and move on. Show me our letter that is our choice for the sound k, and we choose it before A, O, and U. So what letter says k before A, O, and U? Hopefully you had C. All right, let's erase. Show me the letter that makes the short vowel sound eh. Eh. Good. 
And hopefully you have the letter I. Good, 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 good. Let's erase two more. Show me the letter that says All right, hopefully you have the letter H for Very good. Let's do one more. Show me the letter that says R. And I hope you put the letter R. Good. Okay, let's move on to reading some words now. We're gonna fingerspell five words. And um, then we'll move on to spelling. But let's check out our first word. Have your thumb ready to fingerspell with me. We're going to look at a few words that start with our newest consonant sound for the letter F, which is <sighs> Let's do this one together. Let's start at the beginning. Ready, set, go. <sighs> it fit. This is the word fit. You can hear f at the beginning. Short vowel sound I in the middle and T at the end. F-I-T spells fit. All right, check out our next one. I want you to do this one with me all by yourself if you can. So put your thumb up, fingerspell each sound, and try to catch it in your hand at the end. Go ahead. All right. Hopefully you had I N. Fin. This is the word fin. All right, let's try one more here on your own. See if you can do it. Put that thumb up and go. Okay, I hope you said fat, bat, bat. We have f, we use a for that short a ah sound, and then T at the end saying t, bat. Okay, now we're going to do a couple words um, with C at the beginning. These are good to practice because we know C has some special rules. So put that thumb up and go ahead and try this one for me. All right, I hope you finger spelled k -aud. Cod. This is the word cod. And remember, C is coming at the beginning of the word cod. We don't see a K because C always comes before O. So if we have an aw sound right here in the middle with K before it, we have to use C. Same in this word with a different vowel. Put your thumb up. Try to finger spell this word for me. Ready, set. Go. All right, I really hope you finger spelled k -ap cap. In the word cap, look at the C at the beginning. Start to think about why it doesn't have a K. And that's because we have the short A sound, a, ah, in the middle. Just like our last word, cod, with O, o and aw. If we have an A saying A, ah, we have to use the letter C before it. All right, let's go through and spell some words. This is our last job. We're only going to do three. I'm going to say a word. I would like you to finger spell it and write it on your whiteboard and then check it with me to see how you did. Your first word is the word fad. Fad. Notice I'm not saying fat, I'm saying fad. So go ahead, finger spell it, write it on your own. And let's see how you did. Here's fad. Fad is Bad, bad. We need F at the beginning. We need A in the middle for A and D at the end for D, bad. 
okay, let's try another word that starts with our newest unvoiced consonant sound. This word is fin. Fin. So go ahead, fingerspell fin, and write it on that whiteboard. All right, let's see how you did. Fin is fin. fin. We need F for the sound. I for I and N for N. Fin. Let's do one more KB and then we're done for the day. Your last word is cat. Cat. Okay, let's check out cat. Cat is k at cat. And the rule we have to remember once again is to use C, never K at the beginning before an A. So C always comes before A if we have k before A. So C A T k at is cat. Hey, I think you did a wonderful job today with this online logic practice, and I can't wait to teach you our next letter at school.